Hey everyone, uh, Robert Woodhead here, and I just wanted to show you uh, a really cool little thing called NAND to Tetris. Now, uh, NAND to Tetris is a um, college level course that steps you all the way from a simple NAND gate right up to um, a computer operating system. And uh, one of my sons is taking the course, and I decided to sort of shadow him and do the assignments. Uh, because it really kind of brings me back to the uh, the early days of computers when I got started when you know the computers were made with stone knives and bearskins. So one of the things you do is you build an actual simple computer with a simple instruction set and then you uh, build an assembler for that computer and uh, this is actually the emulator for the CPU um, and uh, I kind of got into um, writing code for this simple uh, CPU and uh, so I ended up uh, writing a fairly extensive um, program to play Conway's Game of Life. Um, here we are and I'll just uh, load in the server. So uh, here you can see um, the first few instructions in, in this program. Um, and uh, the computer itself has a keyboard, it has a screen, and it has a central processor, and it has about uh, 24K of RAM. Uh, so so here, here we go. Uh, I'll run it. Oops, sorry. It's now single-stepping through the entire program, which is a little bit slow, so let's uh, change that so we don't do that. Yeah, there we go. That's a little faster. Um, so, um, what this does is it gives you a 64 by 32 grid of life cells and you have a little cursor. You can move around and you can set cells and you can reset them. And you can also step through a single generation um, or you can uh, go through multiple generations. It's even got things like a save buffer and a restore buffer so you can you know, get a pattern, save it, try it out, see how it goes, and, and stuff like that. Um, and I also um, found a really nice uh, wiki for life patterns. Um, and um, so I, um, I, I wrote a couple of Python scripts to, to generate built-in um, uh, load scripts that, that are incorporated into the assembler. So here's a set of blinkers. And um, at the bottom is um, a repeating pattern that blinks back and forth, which is kind of cool. Um, these are all gliders. Which are patterns that uh, replicate themselves but offset. Um, this is called a glider gun, and at the bottom is um, an eater. Um, and, and this is just an interesting little pattern that drops things off. It, uh, it kind of bur it's called a fuse. It burns through a line and, and leaves uh, fixed patterns. And this one is really kind of cool. Um, it uh, creates the blinkers, but it also has another uh, thing at the bottom that follows along and eats them. Oh, as you can see, the, the, uh, the entire board wraps around, um, so it's actually a torus. It's a donut shape. And I highly recommend the Nanta Tetris course. Uh, I'm having a blast doing it. Uh, and. Uh, you know, if, uh, if you really want to learn how computers work right from the bare metal, uh, it's definitely the way to go.